Beardo Benjo. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to what will probably be a very, very short episode of Will It VR. Now, the reason why it will be a short episode is... Well, there's actually two reasons. Reason number one, I don't know how well this is going to work. I'm trying out Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with Vorpex today. Now, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 is built on a proprietary engine, so there isn't any existing engines within Vorpex that support this game. So I don't know how successful this is going to be. The second reason it's probably going to be short is because I have never played one of these games. I understand they're quite complex. I will probably crash this plane. Now, to get this working, and I have been able to hook Vorpex 2... Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, and I know this game is getting a supported official VR version or VR kind of support in the future, but for those of us now that are kind of curious and want to play around with Vorpex, I just wanted to see today if this would work. So this is a little bit of a mute point, a bit of a mute um, test, but it's fun to try and see if I can get it to work. To get it to hook today, I've used a cloud profile for A Plague Tale, which is also made by as Asobos, I think, is the developer, um, and they use their own proprietary engine, which is the Ace engine. Now, the Plague Tale profile, it worked, it's hooked. I don't know what kind of 3D options I'm going to have, so I am going to check that out. And I really don't know if this is even going to be playable, um, because the game is quite complex, and you have to use pretty much every key on your keyboard is important here. And I'm not a good enough touch typer to be able to do that whilst not being able to see it because of my Oculus. But I'm going to give it a bloody good try. Um, I'm going to jump in now and see if I can at the very least get this plane off the ground. I'm currently sat on Heathrow runway and I have charted a flight to Amsterdam. But I'm not particularly hopeful. Just for your reference, I have head tracking working. So to head track in this game, you need to hold down the right mouse button. You hold down the right mouse button and then you can kind of freely look around the cockpit. Um, have a look if there's anyone sitting in the back. I, I don't think there is anyone sitting in the back. Let's just have a little check. No, no stowaways. No stowaways in my vehicle. Um, if you let go of the right mouse click and then try and look around, it's just like the screen stuck to your face. I, I am playing in full VR mode. So it's incredibly immersive. It's, it's, you know, it's. I feel like I am in the cockpit, especially when I can look around. It's a shame you can't just free look constantly without holding down um, right mouse. But I understand why, because there are about four million buttons that you can interact with in this game, and it takes me about an hour to find one. So. This really isn't going to be that successful, I don't think. Now, I'm recording straight from the game today, so you won't see my Vorpex menu, but I'm looking at it right now. It does say um, I have Z Adaptive and Z Normal 3D representations. I must admit, flicking between them, I can see the screen flicker, but I can't see any real kind of change. The game looks amazing anyway, um, but I don't believe I'm getting any kind of 3D representation here, and that's because the game is built on this proprietary engine that we don't really have any profiles for in Vorpex. Um, it isn't an Unreal game, it isn't a Unity game. It's built on this Ace engine, um, and as far as I know, there's no official support for games like Plague Tale. The Crew, I think, was also made um, on this engine or by this developer. Uh, Quantum Break. There's a bunch of games made by this developer, and they tend to use their own engines. Um, and this is one of them, sadly, so we might have to wait for the official support to get a proper VR rendering. Um, I want to be able to look out that window. Oh, that's better. Okay, if you hit control and use the mouse keys, you can kind of just look out your windows and look up there at your, at your sun visor and look back at the chairs. Okay, so I just want to get it in the air and see, see kind of what I'm working with here. Um, right, so I need to release the brake. Where the piss is the brake? Disengage parking brake. Alright, well, where? I think it's under the steering wheel. I think it's like down. There it is. Look, I can see it. I can see it. It's over there. It's over there. There it is. Park brake. Right, let's take that off. There we go. Look. I'm learning. Okay, so park brake is off. Surely now I just I just throttle up. Yeah, that's it. Just increase throttle. Put that to 100%. Okay. Um, 
And now I just take off, I guess. Oh, okay, that's how I move around on the floor. Okay, nice. Right, okay. Easy does it. E easy does it. Just slowly roll away from the floor. Okay, even though I'm not getting, like, full 3D, um, because of the limitations here, this is still pretty horrific. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm a terrible flyer. Um, let's look out the window, shall we? Okay, there's the... Uh, I'm not a good flyer. Um, I'm not a good flyer at all. Okay, let's get back on the controls because I don't want to. That's, that's it. Oh, come on. Right, pitch a little. That's it. Pitch a little bit. Oh, not too much. Not. Don't roll the pissing aeroplane. Come on. Come on. Right. I understand. I mean, I'm not a pilot. Um, I can't deal with heights, so that's, that's quite obvious. Um, but I understand you need to just keep the needle kind of centered. Oh, what's that? What's that? G? How the piss am I supposed to find G? Oh, I've changed the camera. Uh, <laughs> flaps? Oh my god, where are the flaps? How do I how do I stop the flaps? Okay, I've stopped the flaps. Right, I am... I'm in a bad place right now. I need to pull up. I need to pull up. There we go. 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 Pull up. That's fine. Right, okay, we're, we're alright. We're alright. I think the landing gear might still be up. Where's G? Ah! Right, my, la my landing gear is retracted. I think. What's my landing gear down? This is impossible. I'm going to crash this plane. Oh my god, I'm going to crash the plane. Don't, don't crash the plane. Is what I would say. There we go. Okay. Right. Relax. It's all going to be okay. Should have played a tutorial or something. Can you pitch down? I'm terrified. Okay, right. Just level out. Level out. Level out. Gently. Gently. Le okay, I'm... Oh, okay. All right. Okay, still telling me to retract my landing gear, so I'm assuming my landing gear is... Still out. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm going up loads, though, aren't I? Right. Zoom back, zoom back, zoom back. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I'd be a terrible pilot. I would be a absolutely god-awful, abysmal pilot. I'm not even following the flight path to bloody Amsterdam. I'm just circling the airport. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let, just level out. Just level out, and then I'll try and figure out how to take my bloody landing gear off. Okay, so the immediate problem is that you can't see the keyboard, and as I said at the start, you do need basically all the keys in this game to be able to kind of fully play it properly anyway. Um, oh my god. So things like landing gear and... I managed to get my flaps in, so that was good. But... I can't figure out where G is on the uh, on the keyboard. If you were a touch typer, you'd be you'd be fine. You'd be away. I'm not flying to Amsterdam right now. I need to turn quite dramatically. That's it. That's it. Come on. I do really wish you could just freely look around without having to hold down the mouse. But then there might be a button for it, and I'm just not aware of what it is. As far as I know, you just have to hold down um, right mouse. And you can freely look. There's a zoom button. I've zoomed all the way in. There we go. All right, okay, now I feel like a pilot. Still not following the flight path. Still not actually going to Amsterdam. Oh, it looks great. Going on a little holiday. Can't go on an actual holiday because of viruses. But I can pretend to fly somewhere in my VR headset. Ah, don't do that, you shit. I'm just trying to follow the flight path. Come on, come on, come up, no, come on. What happened? You overstressed the aircraft and caused critical damage. You, you what, mate? You bloody what, mate? Right, I broke that last plane, apparently. So now I'm in a new plane. 
um, and I don't plan on breaking this one. Let's get it up into the air, and then I will sum up my thoughts of Vorpex and Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, because it's immediately easy to sum up my thoughts. I can't see that break again. Alright, get that break off. That's it. I'm a pro now. I know exactly what to do. Okay, All right. Um, let's get me throttle. Throttle it up. And we have blast off. Okay. Can I use this to turn on the ground? Oh, I can. Probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't. I don't think you can crash the plane in this game. I think it cuts away. Otherwise, I'd just try that. Just try and do a big old crash. I still might, actually. Takeoff is wonderful. Like, just seeing the... Oh! When this gets official VR support, and I know it is, it's going to be absolutely incredible, and I probably will play quite a bit of it. Hello? Can I turn? Um, but at the moment, this Vorpex version is a little too ropey for me. Um... It's not. And there's too many buttons. You've got to touch too many buttons. They're going to have to do something quite dramatic, I guess, with the full VR version that they're implementing to make it so you can still see everything and interact with everything. But I assume you, they'll they'll map that stuff to Oculus controllers or um, or, or Index or, or whatever, whatever it is you've got. Um, it'll be interesting to see because, as I, as I say, there are just a huge amount... Oh, what is G? G? No, camera again. Flaps, F5, 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 flaps. Get me flaps in. There we go, flaps are in. Um, it will be interesting to see what they do with the full VR implementation. Um, because the game is quite complex. Unless they kind of just dumb it down a little bit. So that the VR experience is more enjoyable. But I, I'm sure they'll find a way around it. I guess if it is a full VR version you'll be able to just touch the buttons and stuff on the dashboard because you'll be sitting in that space which would be very very cool um in the meantime playing it in vorpex is is viable it, it works but you, you're gonna have to be a touch typer um, and you have to put up with the fact that the 3d kind of isn't there the game looks amazing in it it really does but um it isn't rendering in 3d because of the engine and they, there are no profiles currently that support uh the engine um that flight sim 2020 is built on someone may work their magic um, if there's enough demand for this to work in Vorpex then yeah someone might work their magic and who knows we might we might get it in here but um, at the moment as it stands I've used a profile for a plague tale um, which says it's giving me Z3D um, and Z normal Z adaptive sorry but it, it, it isn't um, the game looks wonderful looking out these windows really does look amazing but it would look so much more amazing if the 3D was 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 doing its job, um, which which it isn't, which is a real shame. The game itself is, is great. Um, usually not my cup of tea at all, but I can see myself kind of just chilling out on this and just trying to fly places. But I do need to get better at flying first. Um, I'd recommend you try it. Technically, it does VR because I'm able to play it in Oculus. It's hooked. It's it's running really well performance-wise not a problem when you first boot it up the um, intro cutscenes and the kind of the uh, developer logos and things are a little bit stuttery and jittery but the actual game no problems whatsoever runs really really well um, so yeah technically it does VR but I don't I don't know how much you'd be able to play in this just purely because you can't really see what you're looking at that's the main issue you can't see your keyboard and you would really have to know your keyboard inside and out to pull off the things that it wants you to do um ah no straighten out do you reckon I can do a barrel roll actually let's try and do a barrel roll um okay right I'm at a pretty good altitude I've got it pretty much dead center I'm gonna go barrel roll to the right I bet it's gonna tell me that I'm a bastard and I've broken the plane Oh my god. Oh, that's... That's a bit too much. Oh, that's a bit too much. But I bloody pulled it off. Look at that. I might be the best pilot that, that's ever lived. I managed to do a barrel roll. Um, it was pretty disgusting. Um, that made me feel very sick, actually. Um, 
even though there's no 3D, the uh, motion sickness there was not diminished. In conclusion, I'm not very good at Flight Sim 2020. I probably should play the tutorials. They'd probably help me quite a bit. Um, Vorpex does a pretty good job of latching on here. As I say, uh, head tracking works. You can see here that head tracking is absolutely fine. Um, it only has the illusion of 3D. You don't really get a proper 3D representation. Um, Z Adaptive and Z Normal are both there in the options if you use a Plague Tail profile, but it isn't actually rendering in 3D. When you turn them on, it says they're on, but it isn't doing the right job, but that's because of the engine. Um, but you do get the illusion of 3D in depth because the game does look amazing um, and the level of detail is extremely high. Um, you do still experience a bit of nausea. Even without the 3D, it is a little bit nauseating doing things like barrel rolls, so probably don't try that if you've got a bit of a iffy belly. Um, and it is playable. It is playable in VR, but you need to know your keyboard inside and out to be able to play it properly. Uh, I couldn't even find G. I see where G is now, and I did know that, but I couldn't hit it to retract my um, landing gear. But I did manage to put away my flaps, so so that's something. Um, in conclusion, it kind of it does VR technically. You could sit and play in your Vorpex um, headset designated kind of setup, but it isn't going to be anywhere near as good as the proper VR support we are apparently getting at some point this year. So I'll jump back in and I'll try it out then. If you're desperate to check it out in Vorpex, it will work. And it is fun. That was kind of cool for a little test, but it, it's probably not the best way to play it just because you can't see your keyboard and there isn't 3D right now. Hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. If you have, please leave me a like, leave me a comment and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I put out content almost every day at the moment, but usually every week, at least every week. Um, I do have another little VR video going live at half past six BST, so in about half an hour's time. Um, check that out, it's only very short, and it's me absolutely shitting myself playing a horror game. So hopefully you'll enjoy. I know I didn't enjoy. I'll see you soon for another one, guys. Take care. See you later.